On the Health Watch tonight, does making vaccines actually improve vaccination rates? And what if families had to pay a penalty for not complying? Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. And a new study in pediatrics aims to answer those questions. Yes, yeah, so what they did was they looked at data from 29 European countries, and they found that those that legally mandated vaccinations, especially for measles and pertussis, which is also called whooping right. cough, that those countries had higher vaccination rates than countries that did not mandate them. And in countries with mandatory vaccinations that did not allow families to opt out for religious or other non-medical reasons, there were fewer measles cases. I mean, we sort of assumed that this would happen, but this sort of panned out in their data. They also found that money does talk, so that if they fine families for not having their children's children vaccinated, that also increased vaccination Their rate. kids are going to get those shots. That's right. All right, here's another interesting story. We often ask why there aren't more women in leadership positions, and a new study identifies some of the answers. It also spells out at least one way that companies can help women become leaders. So these were researchers at the University of Exeter Business School, and they found that many women just don't feel encouraged in the workplace and therefore don't feel like they should strive for leadership positions. Women are also less likely than men to self-promote, sure. sort of talk about what their strengths are. But the study found that if women's achievements are highlighted publicly in front of her colleagues so that they can see what a good job she's doing, she's more likely to step up and lead. They say this holds true for both men and women in mixed gender situations, that if you publicly acknowledge good work, that both male and female leaders will emerge. Critically important to give credit where it's due. That's right. Excellent. Doctor, thank you. You're welcome. David? And we should point out that both of you are fantastic. Aww. All right.